It's Conduit News Radio with Paul Harrell. Came from Joey McCutcheon, a trial attorney and government transparency advocate from Fort Smith. He's going to be on the program Thursday. I'm going to ask him about this little meeting here. He asked why the legislature did not include any provisions in Issue 1 that addressed frivolous lawsuits if they thought it was such a big problem. Ballinger responded that he thought they did because Issue 1 allows them to debate the issue more broadly in the legislature. It was the most intense part of the debate. Or I'm sorry, in what was the most intense part of the debate, Ballinger ended by attacking the audience on their treatment of legislators. He stated he was disappointed on how people kept beating up on legislators and that they were servants. He then claimed that no one currently in the legislature was personally benefiting from being in Little Rock. This was met with groans, laughs, and boos from the audience. Ballinger then shouted back that they were working hard for them. The exchange was caught on video. Can we cue this up, Joe? Go ahead. Whenever you're ready, this is from the Northwest Arkansas Political Animals Club meeting on Friday. Towards the end of this debate, uh, Bob Ballinger said this. Let me say this. I am really disappointed for a for a profession that gets beat up as much as we do. With a, you know, and you know, only good lawyers and dead lawyer, right? And, you know, all that stuff, right? For somebody who gets beat up as much as we do, for, for people to just beat up the legislature. My friends in the legislature are servants. They, they, not one of them, not one of them up there right now is, is benefiting from being in the state. They, they have, they have set themselves on top. Stop, stop. Yeah. All right, you need to go back and play that over because I'm going to want to hear that again. Um, yeah, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. Um, of course, I want to remind everyone that State Representative Bob Ballinger was elected uh, senator. Or he's Sen- senator-elect Bob Ballinger, so he's going to be taking over Brian King's spot uh, this coming January. So, uh, yeah, no one... In Little Rock. Now, what kind of a bubble do you have to be living in to make a ridiculous statement like that? That is one of the most ridiculous things I think I've ever heard in the context of what has been in the headlines on almost a daily basis. Matter of fact, we're going to tell you one of those headlines that was on the Gazette uh, just yesterday about Ecclesia College uh, and uh, uh, Michael uh, John Woods, Michael Lamoureux, and a former employee of the executive branch of the governor's office trying to raise the alarm about Ecclesia College and maybe we shouldn't be sending money there. And, of course, he was fired because he assumed that the people he was working for were honest. That's what I. That's the conclusion I've come to. I'm going to tell you about that story. But what a ridiculous comment to make. And this just shows you the type of bubble that they live in. The Marble Palace is a real place. It's not some made-up fictional thing. It's not me sensationalizing what's going down there. Folks, we have legislators who are still in there. We have legislators who are still serving the people who have been implicated in taking $500,000 in bribes, who have been implicated in taking money from, uh, you know, that uh, uh, Joe Walsh guy down there from the Southern Arkansas Youth Services who pled guilty, who took a plea, who, who has implicated the governor's former chief of staff, former Senator Michael Lamoureux, okay? Uh, there there are more people. You have Linda, Chester, Linda, Linda Chesterfield who was mentioned and uh, as, as being somebody who was taking money from preferred family health care for about a year. There's tons of people down there who are benefiting greatly from being down there. In general, in general, you benefit from being down there. Whether you do something crooked or not, okay, as a politician, you clearly benefit from being down there. There's the clout. There's the power. You get your little. Li- I mean, at the very least, you get your little. You get your little license plate that gives you a license to speed. It's not that we all know this. Every one of the the, the police officers in this state know, for the most part, if if you've got a legislative plate, if you've got legislative tags that say I'm in the Senate or I'm in the House, 
you've got a license to speed as, as, as you can go as fast as you want. Why? Well, I got to have a, I have a meeting in the Capitol, right? I mean, everybody knows that. So that right there is, you know, of course you benefit. But how insensitive it is. I don't. I, I guess Bob and the rest of them don't understand really. I mean, the people of this state are injured. We have been injured by the amount of corruption that we see in the headlines every single day. And yet they want to say, they want to claim, well, we're servants. You don't feel like servants. You don't feel like servants at all. And then he gets really mad there when people start to groan and laugh at him. There should have been a little hook cane that comes off the stage left there and just yanks him off the stage. Is what it, That might be a funny meme to make. But, I mean, it was, it was, you know, he basically gets laughed off the stage, and then he says, my point exactly. Again, a disdain, meaning... How dare you laugh at what I'm trying to say? We are the serv- We are the servants. Yeah. His tone doesn't seem very servant-like. Does his tone see- seem very servant-like to you? Listen, listen again. Joe, go ahead. Cue this back up. Again, this is uh, Bob. Yes. I am really disappointed for a for profession that gets beat up as much as we do. Where they, you know, like, and only good lawyers are dead lawyer, right? And, you know, all that stuff, right? For somebody who gets beat up as much as we do, for, for people to just beat up the legislature. My friends in the legislature are servants. They, they, not one of them, not one of them up there right now is, is benefiting from being in the stiff. They, they have, they have set themselves on top. Those are people working hard representing you. Yes, yeah, some people, some of them, some of them do. Not really an opportunity. Not, you know what? Uh, you guys are not victims. Bob, you're not a victim. These politicians are not victims. It may be, you know, it, it may be tempting in the world where the left thinks that everything has to be about a victim and an oppressor. Everything is about a victim and an oppressor. Politicians are not the victims. We, the people, are the victims of corrupt politicians. And instead of getting mad at the audience, 